Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Rollerball, the 2002 version. So, the basic premise of this movie is that uh, Calvin Klein, John Klein, I don't know, forgettable white guy, uh, and LL Cool J are football players. Uh, Klein dude is some hot to trot, like, just amazing young football player, but he's not getting the money that he wants, so there's this new sport in Russia called Rollerball, and they're trying to get big American names because they're trying to get a cable deal, and so they, they get him over there for a bunch of money, and then, you know, things, you, you start to notice that there might be some corrupt business practices in Russia, and we're all shocked by this because it's 2002, I guess. And also, the money amounts that they're talking about for, like, the star football player who's coming over to play for this is just laughably small, even for 2002 money. I'm just saying, like, the dollar amounts that they were throwing out, I'm like, was this... Did they just pull the numbers from 1975? Like, where... How... Whatever. <laughs> so... <sighs> the writing on this is just... Is just laughably bad. Um, <laughs> the rollerball set is just... And they explain it via announcer in the first, like, five minutes where it's kind of like this figure eight thing and you have to use, you're on like roller skates. Some people are rolling around in, uh, with dirt bikes. You have to go around like two times and then throw it at this thing, uh, like a target thing and it lights up and that's how you get points. Uh, but you know, it's a lot more high contact because you got people going super fast and, oh, people might get hurt, oh. And so this announcer guy, like they... The, the personality and amount of time that is devoted to the English announcer guy, yet he has no actual character things or relevance to the plot. He is only there to explain the rules and fill time. Like, he gives, he's given a lot of personality, but he's just in the, in the, record, in the, in the announcer booth and ha affects our main characters zero amount. <laughs> zero amount. Like, you could have just had an announcer guy, fine. But you give him personality things and like the walk up to the up to the announcer booth and all these other things. Like I feel like maybe he had something, but it was cut. But I don't know where they could have had him interacting with our characters. But it just it was a whole lot of time. Much like how I'm devoting a bunch of this review to him for no reason. So um, yeah, I will say that John Renault is also in this and he is excellent as always. And LL Cool J, I like LL Cool J. Um, so those two elevate this shitty writing far higher than it deserves, just through sheer gravitas and their ability to just sell it to you. Um, because the bad guys in this are about one degree away from literally twirling their mustaches as they be evil. That's how cartoonish these villains are. But it's set all very serious. Like, it's there's no wily e. Coyote like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like, no, it's all very serious violence and bad guys, but, like, seriously, very close to, to mustache twirling. And our main character in this very dangerous sport that involves high contact and literally one of the people gets seriously injured when their helmet comes off and they get beaten in the back of the head by something. Like, that happened, and this motherfucker, our main character, who doesn't want to get hurt, who's a famous football player, whatever else, like, the guy, never fucking clips his helmet strap. Like, at the speeds that you're going and the things that are going on and... and your helmet's not going to stay on, bro. It's just not. And you're stupid for not snapping your helmet strap. And wh why would you even have the helmet strap? Like, either cut that shit off so we're not constantly seeing it jangle and be like, why isn't that shit clipped? Or just fucking clip it. It's really distracting and, like, off-putting and dumb for all this dangerous shit going on. You're like, nah, I'm not going to strap my helmet. It's stupid. Um, <laughs> basically, if you watched um, Alita Battle Angel... Like, that that thing where there's a ball and they're all going around and they're all trying to kill Alita. Way better version of Rollerball than this movie. So just watch that scene, or that movie in general is a, is a much better movie. So just watch that. Um, <laughs> basically, this movie... There's a whole sequence that is shot in, like, green overlay where it's supposed to be, like, night vision. But it's not shot through the character's perspective. It's just, like, they put a green film over the entire night shoot sequence for no reason. I looked up the trivia, and it's because they shot it too dark, but ran out of money to reshoot it, so they were using some of those, and then adding just a green screen. Like, they, they basically added the green shit over top of it because they ran out of money to do it a way that would make sense. So they, they, they didn't explain in the movie why there was like a 10 minute chase sequence at night with this night vision-esque green overlay. <laughs> 
ran out of money, <laughs> which is hilarious to me. But um, <laughs> this movie, I would say, it is charmingly terrible. So uh, I watched this movie, I don't know how many years ago, and thought it was terrible. It's not as terrible as I remember. But again, it's charmingly terrible. But I also wouldn't recommend this for you <laughs> unless you're in the mood for a very hokey slop, like 80s style slop. Think Running Man, but without Arnold Schwarzenegger. Would you care to watch Running Man without Arnold Schwarzenegger in it? I don't know if I would, because I like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but Running Man otherwise is kind of like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> and I think I have a review for that movie, so link in the description down below uh, if it's there. But... <laughs> But yeah, so this movie, I would I would say most likely skip unless you're in the mood for really, really just mustache twirly villains and ridiculousness um, with some with like a little bit of little bit of rollerblading. Uh, yep. <laughs> so that's that's this movie. Uh, also, so minor spoiler alert. So spoiler alert. Uh, I thought LL Cool J like I thought his thing was that he never gets killed in his movies. I thought that was his whole shtick. I was expecting LL Cool J to survive this whole movie. So, yeah, that was that was probably the most surprising part of this. Anyhow, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Bye!